Hello and welcome. In today's episode of Dr. Noir, I take you through all of my stethoscopes and which one I actually use after so many years. As you can see, I have an array of stethoscopes on my desk and quite frankly, as a doctor, or even as a medical student or any other allied health professional, stethoscopes are integral to your day-to-day -day function. Now, I use my stethoscope every single day, but as you can see, I have a number of different stethoscopes on my desk here. Which ones do I actually use and which ones were a bit of a waste of money? Well, this is a long-term review, probably over about the last eight to 10 years of stethoscopes. So I'm gonna let you guys know exactly which ones I use to date and which ones I don't really use and I think maybe I shouldn't have bought them. First up, my very first stethoscope was the Lippmann Classic 2. Now, this was the all black edition and I proudly wore this as a medical student and I always put it around my neck and I was so proud because I was walking through the wards thinking, yes, I'm a medical student, I've got this, I'm gonna be a doctor one day. However, that was probably the worst stethoscope that I actually ever owned. Why, I hear you ask? Because it simply broke down. I unfortunately learnt this during a busy ward round on a respiratory ward with my consultant looking at me and asking me to listen to the patient's chest. So there I was, an astute medical student, putting my stethoscope inside of my ears, placing the, the diaphragm on the chest. Please breathe in, breathe out. Dead silent. Absolutely nothing. I thought to myself, my ears are broken. I can't hear anything. What's going on? This lady has clearly, she's got a pneumonia. The consultant's right in front of me. What do I do? I'm really sorry, Dr. So-and-so, I can't hear anything. Red face, oh my gosh, what have I done? <laughs> After I had some time to come down, I had a good investigation with my stethoscope and I could clearly see that the tubing was broken. By the end of my fifth year of using that stethoscope, the tubing broke in half. One day I was actually listening on the ward and I couldn't hear anything. I thought, oh my gosh, the patient's alive, but I can't hear any heart sounds, what's going on? And I inspected my stethoscope and there was actually a massive hole in the middle of it. And then that one was RIP. So yes, that stethoscope did help me through my medical school years. However, when it came to listening on the ward as a junior doctor, it simply failed me. It became dishaped and it had a hole in the middle of the tube. So, and as you can see, you can't see it here today because well, it's simply gone in the bin. The next stethoscope that I ever used was my Lippmann Classic 3 stethoscope, which is this one over here. In fact, this one is so good, I actually have two of them. You might be thinking, why on earth do I have two? Well, I bought this about seven or eight years ago. Okay, now we're just gonna open the box. And as you can see, your stethoscope is inside it. And what comes with the stethoscope is you obviously get your stethoscope itself. You get some spare earpieces and you get a spare ring as well in case you ever need to replace any of your parts. And you've also got a manual. And within the manual, it tells you how to use your stethoscope and how to clean it and keep it safe. So after that, it also comes with a very handy pouch, which is really useful for keeping your stethoscope nice and clean and protect it from any damage because that always happens when you put a stethoscope in your handbag. So this is just an easy zip up bag, like so, that you can put your stethoscope in when you're not using it. Okay. And the very first one that I bought was this one inside here and it came in a pouch. And I have to say, if you are buying a stethoscope, make sure to invest in a pouch. Probably the reason why this stethoscope has lasted me so long is because of this pouch. Now, for me, I put this pouch in my handbag and not only do I keep my stethoscope in here nice and healthy like so, and you can see here it's in pristine condition. You won't believe this is actually eight years old. It is so good quality. It's in good condition, but I also leave with here a little pulse oximeter. I even put in here my uh, IUD. Uh, demo demo model and so on and a few notes there for some bits and pieces so I've got to say if you're going to get a stethoscope definitely get a carry case with it because they are so useful so let's just talk a little bit about the stethoscope and why I love it so much so as you can see here this steth is actually about eight years old when I unboxed it I was a very junior doctor and uh, I love the color pink and so I actually bought this one and then a few years later I bought another pink one just as backup because I didn't want this one to break. However, so far, touch wood, it has not broken. Why do I like this one so much? Well, it even says on the website that they have designed this one to be a lot better in that it is more flexible and it doesn't deform. Now, that is certainly something that I have experienced myself. It is not deformed at all. It so far hasn't had any holes in the tubing and it is super comfortable to use. Compared to its predecessor, the Lippmann 2, I actually find this one quite comfortable in my ears. Ah, it feels so good. 
The other great thing about this is that you can actually use this as a general practitioner for both infants or babies and adults as well. Now the diaphragm is a larger size and it also has a bell on the other side as well. But what does that mean if you're new to stethoscopes? Well, the diaphragm, which is the bigger surface of the stethoscope, is used to listen to higher pitched noises. Those generally tend to be um, your heart sounds, your lung sounds, and maybe even some heart murmurs as well. On the other side is the bell, and this is smaller, and this is used to listen to lower pitch noises. Now, this could be some certain heart sounds and maybe some bowel sounds as well. Now, you can alternate between the two by rotating it 180 degrees, which opens up the little hole in the stethoscope. Now, this for me is so important because as a general practitioner, I examine babies from six weeks old or seven days old even to six weeks old to infant toddlers and to older generations of peoples as well, perhaps in their 70s or 80s. So having a stethoscope that caters for everybody is so useful for me. I have to say it hasn't let me down yet except for one occasion. Now, really sadly so, um, one day I was taking my stethoscope out of its beautiful carry case and the diaphragm was not there. Now, I have no idea how this happened. Now, I am a person that tends to clean my stethoscope quite regularly after I see my patients. So I do wonder perhaps if the glue got a little bit loose because I do tend to clean my stethoscope with an alcohol wipe. However, what happened was that one day I just couldn't see the diaphragm and I got really upset about this. I even contacted Litman to ask them, is this a warranty issue? And they said, no, it wasn't. So what I ended up doing is I ended up purchasing some spare um, diaphragm and bell covers and also some spare earpieces as well which you can buy separately. However that was probably the only issue I've had with this stethoscope so far. As I've said it is super comfortable you can choose any color you want and it does help you to listen to both infants and adults as well so for me that is such a plus. Now I have to say I've used this probably every day for the past eight, seven or eight years in my practice. And like I said to you before, it looks really clean. It looks amazing. It hasn't deformed. Had this been the Litman Classic 2, perhaps there'll be a different story. The only issue that I've noticed is that I do have a few pen marks on my stethoscope. Now, I have tried to clean these with some Alco wipes. Unfortunately, however, they just simply do not budge. But as you can see over here, I have a second one, which I don't really tend to use except for in these videos as a little prop. But this one really is my backup stethoscope so that just in case, if this one ever does fail me, then I have a second stethoscope there. So again, you can tell that I really love my Litman Classic 3. It gives you really good quality sounds. I've managed to hear so many murmurs, so many lung sounds, so many bowel sounds. Um, and as you guys know, you've seen lots of my videos whereby we've listened to heart sounds of the adults, we've listened to heart sounds of a female, a male, and even a fetal heart sound as well. So definitely heart sounds are really important when you are auscultating your patient. But Dr. Nora, what else do you have on your table? Well, as you can see over here, I've got a, another Lippmann. And now this is the Lippmann Electronic Stethoscope Model 3200. Now this is a Bluetooth stethoscope, which actually gives you the ability to record heart sounds or lung sounds or any sort of auscultation sounds. Now this I bought just to have a listen to some heart sounds and also to record some heart sounds, especially for you guys out there. And I thought with the intention, I'll take it to work if, and have a listen and record any beautiful murmurs that I might hear purely for educational purposes. I'll be honest with you, I bought this probably about three or four years ago now, and I used it perhaps maybe for a week or two in practice, and I simply just didn't like it as much as I probably should have. Now, what were the reasons? Look, as you can see, it's pretty much a brand new stethoscope. It has kept really well in the box, obviously, but why do I not really like this so much in general practice? I think simply, well, one of the reasons is because it doesn't have a carry case. And so putting this in my bag neat like this, I just feel like it is so precious. I do not want to scratch. I don't want to break it or anything like that. I don't want to keep it in my bag without a carry case. So if I had a carry case, I might be more um, prone to using it perhaps. The other thing about it is it does rely on having a battery. Now, it does say that it has quite a long runtime with that battery. It even boasts having a 50 to 60 hour runtime with just one battery. So yes, you could use it for a really long time. However, I know myself that one day perhaps I might be listening to a patient, I turn it on, and I can't hear anything. And then I instantly get those flashbacks of being a medical student where I just can't hear. And as a doctor, this is like literally one of your most important tools. If it's not working, then you know, you're know kind of stuck. I know you're saying out there, you're probably thinking, well, just get a spare battery or take a spare battery to work. And yes, that is very feasible, but I feel like practically wise, this is just a really good old standard method. However, this does have some real good pros to it. And certainly if you are inclined to electronical devices, this is excellent. Now, one of the best features about this is that you can actually amplify the sounds. Um, that means you can increase the sound more so than this, and you can actually increase up to 24 times more 
than your average stethoscope, which for me is actually quite amazing. Now, this could be really useful if you're a bit hard of hearing or if you're on a busy ward round, you're, you know, you're hearing lots of buzzers and beepers and ECG machines going off, then this certainly could help. Now, for those of you out there thinking, well, it's only got one head, what about the bell? The great thing about the stethoscope is that it does allow you to toggle between the diaphragm and the bell with a click of a button. And you can also record up to 12 tracks of say heart murmurs or lung sounds if you want to. And then you can transfer that onto your PC or Mac and listen to them later and then delete them afterwards. So it certainly does have its perks. I guess aesthetically, it looked quite fancy too. Um, I do like the chrome finish to it and the black. Obviously it's not pink and maybe that would be my preference and perhaps that's why I'm not actually using it. But um, I have to say it is just a little bit heavier than my normal stethoscope. And that probably is because of the battery. So realistically, unfortunately I don't use this as much. It is a bit of fun recording some sounds, especially if you're somebody who is in training or cardiology training or you're just a medical student, you wanna hear some noises and you wanna record them so you can practice your exams. Yes, it is a little bit expensive, but maybe it'll be useful for that. But Realistically, do I use it during my practice? Probably not. And I feel a little bit sad about that because it is expensive. However, it's fun if I want to record a heart sound, but at the same time, you don't always have murmurs in practice. You know, sometimes you just have normal patients that walk in with normal findings. And so you don't always have the opportunity to record something, but yeah. So that is the, um, so that is my feelings towards the Litman 3200 electronic Bluetooth stethoscope. Yes, I like it, but do I use it in reality in my practice? Probably not so much. I tend to go to my old fashioned stethoscope. Now, for those of you astute out there, we're thinking, well, Dr. Nora, there's something left on your table that you haven't spoken about. And yes, you are quite right. This is a stemoscope. Now, this stemoscope is not actually what I use in general practice whatsoever. In fact, even on their website, they say that it's not used for clinical purposes, but more so for educational purposes or having a bit of fun with your friends, perhaps when you're going around the campsites, or if you just want to have a bit of fun with your friends at home, this is what you can use. Now, this is a tiny, teeny weeny device, as you can see there, which allows you to have a listen to the heart sounds over your chest and you just essentially plug this into your um, your iOS device or an app, for example, and you can actually see real time the heart sounds and you, rec and you can record them as well. Now, this is a lot of fun. I have to say, I have had a lot of fun with this, um, you know, just listening to my friend's heartbeats or even my own heartbeats as well and recording those noises and seeing the tracing on the app. So that's pretty cool as well. However, this is something that I haven't used in clinical practice because one, it doesn't say to do that on the website. And secondly, as well, um, you certainly want to use something a little bit more intricate to listen to those heart murmurs and those intricate noises of the bells, for example. So this doesn't quite give you that intricacy that perhaps a standard stethoscope might do. So there you have it. That is my eight year follow-up review of which stethoscope I use and which one I prefer the most. Now, I've been through a lot of stethoscopes, as you can see, and I found the best ones that suit me, which is the Lippmann Classic 3, of which I have two of. It is sturdy, it's reliable, it's lasted for such a long time, and it's just my go-to stethoscope. It's comfortable, I can hear things really well, whether it's a child, whether it's an adult, and it's also reasonably priced. So these are my stethoscopes that I would definitely recommend if you are considering a career in general practice or even just being a medical student, then certainly I'd opt for this. I hope you guys have found this video useful, and of course, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate, drop me a line in the comments section below and I'll see you on the next one. Take care and stay healthy.